And Sarah in Portugal wants you to describe Robert in two words. In Portuguese. Who? Why two? Why not just one? Or three? It's funny because I know, I know very well, better than anybody else, a version of Rob. I mean, like, in, because you have, like, a very complete experience making a movie. Like, you go through something with somebody or whatever. Um, and then that's, like, this separate little thing. Um, I don't feel like I know him very well. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh... He's such a great actor. He's just, just like, he's, how about good... Actor. <laughs> Good person. I think I've heard you say before that you feel like Bella is like a pretty separate thing from you. What are the differences? You know, Bella and I think completely differently. And, you know, when I went to write this, it wasn't something I thought about. Cause I was just doing it for fun. But I think it's really natural that I created a character that let me live a life I didn't know. Because why would I want to write something that I've already experienced? You know, I, I brought a few things that I'd experienced and added them in later. But really, um, Bella was like 100% more mature than I was at that age. I, I was really sheltered, and she had to be the grown-up all the time. And, and I kind of admired that when I would see that in people around me. Like, that's got to be hard. What is that like? Um, my life is really easy, and hers isn't. Uh, and then she gets to have this, like, fantasy love affair. And she's just normal. Um, that also did not happen to me. <laughs> um, I, I did have like the Mike Newtons and the Eric Yorkies in my life, and um, I never did even see an Edward. So that was all part of this fantasy that, that I got to live for three months, and that was really cool. What were your personal experiences that you put in the book later? Um, there's one that I just thought would be funny uh, because I was writing a book about vampires and the fact that I did pass out in biology because other people were bleeding all around me. Um, <laughs> I thought it was kind of hilarious for a vampire book, so that actually happened. <laughs> what was the funniest thing that happened during filming? When you tried to pick me up off the floor and couldn't. <laughs> uh, made me feel like a, a gorilla. <laughs> um, Rob pulled his groin that day. It was really problematic. <laughs> and it's really quite funny. The outtake is really very funny. Uh, thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Uh, it's all right. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thank you to Movie Phone, and thank you for watching and sending in your questions. Please check out our movie Twilight. It's much more interesting than this. <laughs> 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 So what's your next project? <laughs> <laughs> Writing the Rob Pattinson story. It's a tell-all. <laughs>